every time there was someone else sitting on the driving seat taking my car anywhere and I regret it a lot. I've never taken my own decisions. I wasn't allowed to. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Namita and today I'm not starting this video with a quote because this video is all about quotes. Yes, today I'm going to share with you 22 quotes that have helped me change my life to a great extent in the year 2022. Well, I'm someone who just love to read quotes. I spend a lot of time reading quotes and I love collecting them too. I write all the quotes which just touch my heart and I love keeping them in a diary. So this year also I've been able to collect a lot of quotes but I thought of sharing only 22 of them with you because of the relevance of this number 2022. Since this is the last day of this year, 2022, so what else can be a better day than sharing all the 22 quotes with you that I've compiled here. And since we are ready to just say goodbye to this year and we are happy to welcome a new year. So I thought that let's end it with some learnings and this might help you too. So this is something which uh, is very close to my heart. These quotes have helped me gain new perspectives and change my mindset to step ahead in my self-improvement journey. So this might be very helpful for you as well. So let's begin with the quotes. But before that, I would like to tell you that uh, I want you to interpret these quotes in the comment section because there are 22 of them. So if I would spend a lot of time explaining each one of them and sharing my point of view with you, then the video would be really lengthy. I want to avoid that. And also, I'm not going to... Uh, share the PDF or place the text here on the screen. You can simply switch on the captions and read it for yourself. Otherwise, I really want you to develop your listening through these quotes. And while uh, speaking, I might make some pronunciation mistakes with the names. Most of them are English names. So there might be some wrong pronunciations. The names can be a little tricky always. So this is what you're going to do. You will interpret some of them and tell me your favorite quote out of all these 22. And I'm a bit old school that way. I'm not very tech friendly. So I still write everything in a diary with a pen. I am a paper and pen person. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll read each one of them to you and you just listen to them and share your favorite quote with me. All right. So let's begin the very first quote and this is written by Jane Austen. When the pain is over, the remembrance of it becomes a pleasure. Now, I have kept them in a sequence. So this has been my favorite quote all through the year. And it gave me a new perspective to think about. It is so true. I have seen people suffering endlessly because of the same pain. They don't want to move on. They don't want to leave it because there is a different kind of pleasure holding on to pain. We love talking about our problems because if we move to the solutions or if we want to come out of that zone, it would take efforts. So we develop a certain kind of comfort around that pain and we don't realize it, but it somehow becomes a pleasure. And this is my top favorite quote. So after this, everything would be under it. So this was the top one, though all of them are with, with a difference of 0.1, 0 0.2%. They're all favorite, but yes, I've put them in a sequence. Okay. The second one is by Robert Frost. Half the world is composed of people who have something to say and can't. And the other half who have nothing to say and keep on saying it. It is so good. I will repeat it for you. Half the world is composed of people who have something to say and can't and the other half who have nothing to say and keep on saying it. So I have observed that people who are really knowledgeable, who are having a good wisdom, you would see them mostly quiet. They would not be chit chatting a lot. But the people who are always um, behaving like a chatterbox have nothing to offer. They just talk uselessly they just talk nonsense and sometimes it's very boring listening to them okay the third one is by Rumi and I have thousands of quotes which I love by Rumi I think I can make a separate video on just Rumi quotes but here this one is close to me it is the closest to my heart he says the wound is the place where the light enters you and this is so true there's a lot of pain the wound hurts but 
this is the only place from where all the healing will happen all the light will enter you we just have to not let go of uh, the hurt and pain just just go waste it it needs to be used to make us wise so yeah what do you think about it you tell me the fourth one is by mark twain he says most men die at 27 we just bury them at 72 so the moment we stop living we are dead it is as simple as that well when we are children we still manage to smile and dance and do things we love but as we are burdened with responsibilities as we age we stop living and we are almost dead so what when are we buried or cremated we have to keep on living the fifth one is by william faulkner i think that's the pronunciation faulkner perhaps they were right putting love into books perhaps it could not live anywhere else and ask me i have read numerous love stories and i can tell you that yes books are the right place for love because in reality you cannot find it simply the sixth one is by virginia wolf unless i am myself I am nobody and this is for all of us unless I am myself I am nobody so let's just stop comparing ourselves to other people and let's just stop stop to stop trying to, uh, to become like others let's be ourselves we are special we are unique the seventh one is by Marcel Proust my destination is no longer a place rather a new way of seeing and that's so true for me I'm not looking for a particular destination I'm not looking for any place to go to Growth for me is now just about gaining more perspectives. That's it. Eighth one is by John Updike or DK. I don't know. Updike, I guess. It is easy to love people in memory. And the hard thing is to love them when they are there right in front of you. And yes, this is something that even I have observed. It's easy to uh, forget the negative side of a person when he or she is dead or they are not there anymore with us we just remember only the good things when they are with us it's so hard to love them or to just you know fine tune the relationship with them it's very hard the ninth one is by william shakespeare and it's a beautiful quote the eyes are the window to your soul and that's so true you can easily tell how transparent a person is how pure his or her soul is just by looking into their eyes so yes that's true okay this 10th one is by dh lawrence and he is my favorite author if you have seen my uh, journey reading journey then you would know that i love the novel by him sons and lover so dh uh, lawrence says one must learn to love and go through a good deal of suffering to get to it and the journey is always towards the other soul so beautiful and i believe that love is also a skill i talk about becoming skillful so learning to love is very important he is saying something which is so true okay the 11th one is by socrates and he says the only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing and do you know wise people never boast about themselves they don't say i'm very wise i'm very knowledgeable only the people who are empty here from the top head are the ones who just tell about their wealth they talk about their material possessions the people who are okay let's let's not just not talk in detail about it you tell me what are you learning from it the 12th one is by emilia clark and she says never argue with someone whose tv is bigger than their bookshelf and yes this is so true so take a lesson from it never argue with someone whose tv is bigger than their bookshelf and the people who read are genuinely grounded they have an anchor they are genuinely uh, people you you can rely on rest of them are just doing a lot of just here and there and talking about big things nothing to offer number 13 sorry uh yes the next one is from an unknown author and this one is you can come out bitter or you can come out better there is a purpose in your pain are you using it pur purposefully or you're just letting your pain go waste mostly 
we become bitter because of pain very few of us work on our healing and we become better now the 13th one is by diane grant or diana it's diane grant only it's better to walk alone than with the crowd going in the wrong direction and i completely agree with this one it's better to walk alone than with the crowd going in a wrong direction 14 one, 14th one is again by virginia wolf and this is i feel so intensely the delights of shutting oneself up in a little world of one's own with pictures and music and everything beautiful so this quote is glorifying me time it is talking about how beautiful it is to just spending time with oneself instead of depending on people for every emotion the fifth one is by leonardo da vinci and he says learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts never fears and never regrets true i keep telling you about learning learning is a lifelong process is an it's an ongoing process we can never stop learning till our last breath so he's saying the same thing learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts never fears and never regrets the 16th one is by alejandro jodorowsky this is how it is pronounced i guess alejandro jodorowsky maybe it's wrong i don't know this is my very favorite one birds born in a cage think flying is an illness so there would always be people who will be stowing uh, who will be throwing stones at you for your deeds keep going keep going that's all i can say because birds born in a cage think flying is an illness they would not understand the freedom 17th one is by carl jung and jung is my favorite writer he has some wonderful wonderful quotes but one of them is the world will ask you who you are listen to this one very carefully the world will ask you who you are and if you don't know the world will tell you i learned this lesson a very hard way i never took my own decisions and every time there was someone else sitting on the driving seat taking my car anywhere and i regret it a lot i have never taken my own decisions i wasn't allowed to so i learned it that the world will ask you who you are and if you don't know the world will tell you so you better know who you are and what you truly want to do in your life that has brought a lot of emotions in me the 18th one is by amy bloom and uh, she says the past is a candle at a great distance too close to let you quit and too far to comfort you now yes that's true sometimes we remember a lot of past incidents and feel so good and at the same time we know that holding on to past won't bring a lot of joy so we better let it go the 19th one is by carson mccullers and he says we are homesick most for the places we have never known and that's so nostalgic yes i believe in it maybe because i come from a literature background so i can relate better to the, to this one maybe most of you cannot but i would still repeat it we are homesick for uh, most for the places we have never known we want to go to places which we have never been to in imagination and that's nostalgia number 20 is by albert einstein and he says there are only two ways to live your life one is as though nothing is a miracle and the other is as though everything is a miracle and that's so beautiful isn't it yes it is so good the 21st one is by ng wayland and it is meet me in the middle of your story when the soul is worn but wise it is very beautiful i i loved it when i first read it i i fell in love with this quote i'll read it once again meet me in the middle of your story when the soul is worn but wise and we are aiming to be wiser by every passing day isn't it all of us this community and the last one number 22 is by zelda fitzgerald uh, it says nobody has ever measured not even poets how much the heart can hold and it made me realize that yes we as humans are very powerful our heart can hold a lot of emotions the painful ones the happy ones a lot of suffering a lot of hurt everything we are much more capable 
uh, than we can imagine for ourselves. So these were 22 beautiful quotes. If I get a good response in, the, uh, in this video, then uh, I would actually come up with a lot more quotes. Depends completely. But I love sharing quotes. That's something which is very close to my heart. So wishing you all a very happy new year. I wanted to end this video with some absolutely wonderful learning and these quotes are the biggest learnings of my life for this year they have changed a lot in me it's very important to keep changing our mindsets and this is one of those things which has helped me so i hope you'll find them helpful to share your favorite quote with me and i'll see you the next year till then keep enjoying your life to the fullest a very very happy new year to all of you take care bye bye for now